Hello, SAC fans. I'm Patrick Britz, and here's your SAC Daily Dose for Monday, February 12, 2018, and here's what's happening today. First up, some sad news to report from Hickory, as longtime AD at Lenore Ryan University, Neil McGahey, passed away early Friday morning. McGahey served as the AD for the Bears from 2002 to 2016 and was also a 1965 graduate of the school. Per current president, Dr. Fred Witt, quote, The Lenore Ryan University community is deeply saddened to learn of the passing of Neil McGahey. Neil was a Lenore Ryan icon and a beloved leader who was passionate about LR and our student athletes, end quote. Current AD Kim Pate went on to say, quote, Neil was truly one of a kind. It was a great privilege to have known him as a colleague and friend, end quote. Services will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, February 13, at St. Andrew's Lutheran on the campus of Lenore Rhine. The family and friends of Neil are in our thoughts and prayers. In other news, as we continue in the crossover month, we had nearly 90 events scheduled over the weekend. Several got canceled or postponed due to rain on Saturday and Sunday, but some notable results need to be mentioned. First, Lenore Ryan men's lacrosse defeated defending national champion and number one ranked Limestone 17 to 13 on Saturday. While this will go down as an upset, Lenore Ryan is currently ranked seventh nationally and also participated in the NCAA championship last year, so they are no slouch. The Bears were led by freshman attacker Miles Moffitt and sophomore midfielder Eric Dickinson, who both netted five goals. Dickinson also added four assists, and senior goalie Ryan Compton made 13 saves to earn the win. This was the first time Limestone suffered a loss in its opening game of the season since 2009. Congrats to the Bears. Another notable result was in men's basketball as the LMU Rail Splitters won their record-setting 31st consecutive sack regular season contest with a 93-65 triumph over Wingate. The number one ranked rail splitters are now 17-0 in the league and 23-1 pardon me, overall this year. Next, the watch list of players for the NFCA, NFCA Shoot Sports Division II National Player of the Year Award for softball was announced late last week, and the SAC has four players on the list. Junior outfielder Aaron Boone of Lenore Rhyme, sophomore pitcher Lacey Rhinus of Carson Newman, and junior second baseman Natalie Willis and sophomore pitcher and utility player Haley Simons, both of Newberry, were all included. Congratulations, ladies, and best of luck this season. Finally today, the first-ever SAC Men's and Women's Indoor Track and Field Championships will be held exactly one week from today at JDL Fast Track in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The first event begins at 10 a.m., and all 11 SAC schools will be competing. Currently, the teams, the men's teams for Wingate and Queens are ranked in the top 25 nationally. Admission is free, so spend your President's Day holiday watching some great track and field. Now, for everyone's favorite part of the show, the famous sports quote. Today's is from football coaching legend Bill Walsh. Good talent plus a bad attitude equals bad talent. Sage advice from one of the best college football and professional football coaches there ever was. You can find links to all the stories I discussed in the description below and more on our homepage, thesac.com. Make sure you give us a thumbs up by liking the video and share it with your family and friends. That's going to do it for me today. Be sure to join us again for the next installment of the SAC Daily Dose on Wednesday. Have a great week, everyone.